In this video, I'm going to talk about some of the advanced things you can do with message boxes and input boxes and how you can use these two tools in order for you to be able to communicate with your users. Well, a message box is nothing more than a way for you to be able to tie your message to some action that happens. For example, I tied my message fried chicken and donuts to this uh, a on button click event here and you can actually tie a message box to any action here so for example I have this text box here and if I type in five and it'll I have a message box saying your value is less than six and if I type in eight it'll say your value is greater than five so uh, I have these message boxes tied to a certain event and let's go ahead and look at the code behind for the command button, I, I had I did nothing more than basically set the uh, on click command to message box and then the message that I wanted to type in and quotes. And for the text box, it was nothing more than an if statement checking the value of the text box. So me referring to the form that we're on, my input with referring to the name of the text box value greater than five. So if the value of the text box that we want to check is greater than five, then message box your value is greater than five else message box your value is greater than six so it's very easy to assign a message box to a certain event but you can also make your message boxes uh, make the user choose a choice or put make it to be a sort of a fork in the road so for example I have this button that says exit program and I want to ask the user are you sure you want to exit the program uh, and if the user hits yes then I'm going to go ahead and exit if no eh, I'll go ahead and stay on so basically I'll go to properties on this button and I'll go to on click events and I'm gonna design that and essentially what I'll do here is I'll create a select case statement so I'm gonna say select case message box so basically I'm selecting the the case of the message box or the uh, the value of the message box and so what you're thinking is well, does a message box have a value well we're gonna make it have a value here and I was first thing first uh, let's go ahead and open uh, type in open parentheses and the message that you want to put in here so you want to exit so we'll do that now we're gonna go ahead and type in a comma now when I type in a comma I have a whole list of constants that uh, can that I have the choice of and the one I want to select though is VB yes no so VB yes no is gonna give me a choice of yes no and notice that there's other ones here uh, okay cancel okay only uh, yes no cancel these are the uh, different types of constants you can choose that'll uh, make you have different set of buttons but I want a yes and no button here so I'm gonna choose VB yes no Okay, and now if I type comma again, you're going to see right here a uh, little kind of the tooltip bar tells you title. And the title is basically going to be the name of your application or the name that you want to put on top of your message box. So I can type in here um, my app just to identify that this is my app. And that's pretty much all I really want to do right now. Okay, so again, it's message box. Open parentheses, are you sure you want to exit is the message that I want to put in here. I want to make it a VB yes, no, which basically gives it a value. And then I'll just put a little title on my message box. So that's that. So now uh, I have to put in the case statements. So case equals uh, VB yes. Okay. VB yes, meaning I press the yes button. I'll say you selected yes. In normal situations, I would actually exit the program, but here I'm just going to type in a message box saying that we selected yes. And I'll go the opposite way, basically saying uh, if the case equals VB no, then message box you selected no. And I would end the select statement. So end select, and I think I'm pretty much done here. Let's go ahead and close this out. And so now I can say exit program. Are you sure you want to exit? Now you notice my app is up here instead of Microsoft Access because I put the title up there. But now it says, are you sure you want to exit? I'm going to hit yes. You selected yes. Okay. Are you sure you want to exit? No. You selected no. 
Now there's another tool that you can use to get uh, information from the user instead of passing information to the user, uh, and that's called an input box. Now an input box is kind of works the same way as a message box where something will pop up, but instead of actually giving uh, the user a statement or a choice between yes, no, uh, the uh, input box actually asks the user to type something in to be able to use that piece of information that the user gave you in some other way in the program. In most cases, an input box is a tie to a button, so I have a button here, and I'm going to go ahead and go to the properties of the button, go to the on-click event, and start typing in a little bit of code here, and I'm going to type in input box, open parentheses, and then my question here. And I'm just going to basically say, um, type in your name. Okay, let's test this out. Press the button, ask for input. Now I got a, an input box that pops up asking me for my name. I'll put in my name and everything looks like it's working fine. So now what I have to do is find a way to hold that name so I can use it somewhere else in the program. So I'll right click here, go back to the properties, event procedure, and I'm going to go into the code here again. And this time what I want to do is I want to declare a variable. Uh, I'm going to type in dim declaring a variable called my answer and I'm going to say my answer is going to be a string meaning that it's just going to be uh, a, a simple text okay and so in front of input box my answer equals input box. So basically what I'm saying is declare a variable that'll hold something, to, that'll hold a string, and the string is going to be the answer to this input box. So my answer equals input box type in your name. And to see if it works out, let's go ahead and say me, which refers to the form that we're on, my input, which is that text box that we have on that form, value equals my answer. So what I'm doing here is I'm declaring a variable called my answer, and I'm setting it as a string, basically saying it's going to be a text, and I'm saying my answer is going to equal the value that I get from this input box. Type in your name. And I'm going to take that answer, and I'm going to make it be the value of this text box that's on my form. So let's go ahead and ask for the input. Type in your name. I'll type in my name when I hit OK. It captured the value and used it in some way in this program, and the way that I used it was to fill in this text box. And input boxes are very useful in asking if uh, users for information. For example, you can use input boxes to ask for ranges for a report that you're going to run, or you can ask it for a certain age that the user is, so you can use it in a query. So go around and play with these message boxes and input boxes. They're going to be the cornerstone of any application that you're going to build in that uh, they're going to be your primary ways in order for you to communicate to your user and actually get information from your user.